Hi everyone, this is Becky with Feather Nest and today I want to show you how you can take a small closet or a uh, armoire or a um, maybe a TV, inter old TV entertainment center, something like that and make a small uh, crafting or sewing area uh, for yourself. And this is what I have done in my home. I no longer need a large crafting area uh, like we had in our other home. Um, I don't do a lot of crafting anymore. The only thing um, that I do right now is make uh, the uh, small dog clothes, uh, which started with my uh, micro Yorkie and kind of uh, other people wanted them. And so uh, I kind of have a little bitty uh, thing that I do uh, with that. So that's kind of what this is for, for, for my um, uh, needs. But let me show you what I did. I did not want to ruin the integrity of the closet, so we did no building in. Um, the shelves that are in here were already here ex except for one down here. I'll show you. Um, up at the top I wanted to hide my bolts and um, stacks of fabric because they were they did not coordinate. They're all different colors and and patterns and textures and things so I wanted to disguise that and I took a tension rod up to the ceiling and hung this is just a burlap um, fabric and then I stuck a, a just a little dress form just for fun in front of that and then a lamp uh, that uh, goes with my uh, sewing machine. I kind of did uh, the color scheme in here is all cobalt blue because that's the color of my Husqvarna and um, I you know kind of had to work with that so um, it probably wouldn't have been a color that I chose. Then I took these regular shoebox uh, style um, boxes and covered, put a, a strip and labeled them with what's inside. These are tool um, uh, spools and this is a drawer style bin and this is where I house um, patterns. And um, on the other side, same thing, tool spools and um, yarn and it has uh, sewing, knitting, I mean uh, crocheting the needles and things that you use for um, you know your yarn and those are just some yarn balls for decoration. And then down here I have one of the um, little countertop style um, ironing boards because like I said I make the little tiny micro dog clothes so I don't need a lot of space. I don't need a big ironing board. Um, the pieces that I use fit nicely right here. Um, I house my iron right here next to it and um, you know I can iron out what I need. I took, I took a tension rod here and put it up at the very top up here and this is where I house my um, transferring type papers up here and then I have a container here with um, buttons and over here this is the kit uh, that goes to my sewing machine. It's an embroidery kit but it was has a red colored pattern on it so I needed it to coordinate and just recovered it with a with the scrapbooking paper also and labeled it. The water that uh, I used to refill my machine, uh, not machine, the um, uh, iron, iron with. And then these are just a couple containers. They hold straight pins and, and safety pins. And then down here is um, little bins that I kind of have some of the tools that I use while I'm sewing here. Right now I'm right in front of my sewing machine. And it just houses um, it, some elastic pieces and some Sharpies and some other little sewing tools, seam rippers, things like that. And then I went ahead and stored my lid that goes to my machine right behind it back here where um, it's not in the way of anything. So um, it's just a protective cover for the machine. And then over here is where I have my two glue guns. I have two <clears throat> because... <clears throat> One of them is a regular glue gun. The other one is a fabric um, hot glue. And then I hold the sticks for these gu uh, glue guns right here. So these are all glues. And then here's the shelf that I said was not built in. It does, however, I mean, right, see if I can get under it. See this shelf right here? That is built in. And on top of it, I needed this to come out further so that I could roll my chair right here and get my legs underneath my sewing machine. So my husband took a um, piece of plywood and um, I painted it with the same paint that all the shelving is done in, in this closet. And we did not screw or glue this down. What he did um, is take a piece of like one by one little square uh, piece of wood and wedged them at the back, one on the other corner and in this corner. 
and that holds this down. Um, he's got on the bottom of the little uh, wood, there's an adjustable foot, and I really don't think you can see it, but it's uh, you see how the board doesn't meet the wedge of wood? That's because there's a little uh, screw type uh, uh, foot on that, and he can make it as tight as he wants. Um, and this is very secure. I've actually pulled myself up when I'm down here in my lower bins and get up. I will actually pull myself up with this board. It does not budge for anything. Um, and then coming down um, underneath the sewing machine is just where I house even more of my bins. I have um, my threads in here. I used to have it on a thread rack, but I didn't like the variations in color, so they all went in here. Um, floral supplies, cutters, wires, things like that. Glitter. Um, I also make mums for um, the girls at my uh, kids' school. So everything I need for making mums, homecoming mums, um, is in this container. Um, fabric trims, a sewing manual book that goes to my machine in case I need to refer to it. Um, let me show you also up here on that piece of wood that my husband added. Um, you'll see that it does hang over. Here's the original shelf. It hangs over, and where it hangs over, I had him drill holes so that I could insert my um, most used scissors right here. And um, they do hang down here below. They're not in the way of my legs. They don't hit me. And I can still get to my bins here and pull them out. And those just hold other miscellaneous type um, crafting supplies. <clears throat> and then down here, um, I have these little bins here. They're kind of flat bins. Let me see if I can show you. Um, they're kind of sectioned off. And this is just where I house the little... Um, fun uh, little bling blings that go on some of the dog clothes that I make. And then um, the price tags that go on. And, and then just some more um, little drawers. And they house all the miscellaneous rhinestones, crystals, charms. You get the idea. And then I have two sets of drawer type um, bins here. Um, let's see. Okay. <laughs> um, that house all the little um, fabrics that I use for making the dog clothes. And they're all separated kind of in color schemes. So these would be all pinks and, and they fade to the darker pinks and so on. <clears throat> um, same over here. These are the... <clears throat> it's kind of hard to open with one hand. I'm sorry. Um, these are all the blacks and uh, so on. So um, that's it on the... Um, on all the drawers, bins, and how I organize it. That's the foot pedal to my um, sewing machine. And then, um, obviously, you want a trash can in your work area. Let me move on up. I have a little bulletin board here where I can put some of my um, working items, the current pattern I'm using, my pins, my wrist pins, and extras of those, a little tape measure, a uh, thimble. You, you get the idea. It's just some of the little... Um, items that I use while sewing. Here is my ugly spot in my um, room. <laughs> this is uh, all my ribbons. I bought these boxes to uh, use and thread my ribbons through, um, but I don't like them because I can still see all the colors and variations here. I don't like that. I like everything to coordinate, so I haven't decided. Uh, that's why I stopped buying the boxes because I decided I didn't like it, um, and I have them... Um, on one little shelf in here kind of stacked but I decided I don't like them so I don't know what I'm going to do yet and that's why these are not in boxes because I don't uh, haven't made that decision yet so uh, and then I just have a couple little hooks here for you know if I need to hang something there on this door and um, <clears throat> it has my tape measure so um, that is it and um, I just kind of wanted to show you how you can organize a small space. Oh, I did forget to show you these right here. These bins are underneath the ironing board, and it holds my Velcro, my towels to cover my board with, and um, my heat and bond fabric. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but that's what that is. And I uh, just wanted to show you that you can take a very small space and use it efficiently and have it organized. All right, take uh, uh, something that you've got in your home that you can turn into a... Uh, crafting or sewing space and uh, get it organized and have fun creating. Bye my friends. Bye bye.